Moms for Liberty, obviously, mm. started in Florida, mm. cr- has chapters around the country, and they have been the ones leading the bands on books, books that just so happen to be written by black people, gay people that are about black history gay history, or really just any stories about those folks. You see how crazy that is? For liberty. They moms for liberty, taking away liberties from everybody. Insane. I got to get out of here. (laughs) Well, so here was Joanne Reed. And I feel like Joy's kind of been killing it lately because she did not let this uh, co-founder, I think her name is Melissa Justice or something like this, uh, which is so like that's not your name right. that's not your name no. um but anyway here she is asking uh the co-founder specifically about basically the perfect question which is what you just said if you're moms for liberty why do you get to decide mm-hmm. what everyone else reads mm-hmm. shouldn't everyone have the liberty to decide what they read and what they don't read because you know these bitches don't read i've said this before mm-hmm. but they can't even do an Oprah's book list. Like, and mm-hmm. I don't even know if that's for racist causes. I think it's just because they're like, I don't know. Da Vinci Code? What? Like, okay. Right, right. They can't even read on an airplane. They can't, if, they, anyway. They can look at pictures at the salon, mm-hmm. but here we go. For Liberty members are going to places like Broward County mm-hmm. School Board meetings, reading out of, pas- out of context passages from these books, and then demanding that the school board remove them. So what's that the is the way yeah. the, the question. So she's saying basically they're going to this website. They find they search literally what they do is they'll go to a website called like book. I don't know what it was called. If she mentioned it, you just search like titty or like vagina. And then all the books that have the words titty or vagina, it's basically the horniest act you could possibly partake in. That's what Moms for Liberty has been doing. And then they'll read those passages, as Joy says, completely out of context and then try and get the book banned. The question I'm asking is, what is the expertise that you have and other Moms for Liberty advocates have to decide that a book, an award-winning book, like All Boys Aren't Blue, isn't oh. appropriate for students to read? What, what is your expertise? A, what a tragic story of a young man who's anally raped by his adult family member. So you mm-hmm. have incest, rape, pedophilia. Joy, you said you'd let me answer, so sure. I'm going to answer Please for do. you. Please um, do. In what context is a strap-on dildo acceptable for public school? Just... Let, I mean, that's my question mm-hmm. to you. Tell me what the context around the strap on dildo or the rape of a minor child by a teacher. Hold on a second. No, 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 you, no. no wait, We're talking on. about no, no, public no. school. One, one moment. All right. So now you've asked me questions. Sure. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer it. Okay. Well, who is the main character? What's the name of the main character in All Boys Aren't Blue? You're asking me right now. You just gave me very specific information about this book. So you're pl- presenting yourself as somebody expert. It's the general. Yeah, girl, you just said anally raped on national television. You better back it up. Right. You couldn't you even just say it up. You can't you couldn't even say just art. You couldn't just say it raped. You just no anally raped. Make sure to get that in there. So who, who's the author? Um, the, hold on. The main, to, who's the main character in the, the book? The main character is the author. Who's the what's his name? George, I believe this is uh, Georgie Porgy. Because name? you're giving me very specific information that is You're asking me to remember the name of an author. You the just name remembered of the author very specific name. Joy. Here's my We're question. We're talking about Here's track. My question. You didn't answer my no, question. No, no, no. I'm going to I'm going to answer Great. your question. I would love to hear that. Absolutely. Well, I you, I'm interviewing you and you're not interviewing me. So let's just make sure it's a conversation. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so what I'm saying to you is that as you are not an expert in this book, I don't have in, to hold be an expert no, 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 to know that dildos aren't appropriate moment, for public school. Moment. I mean, this come on, let's get real. This book is a full context story, as you said, of the author's experience. Why is it your right or a Moms for Liberty activist's right to say that a parent who wants their child to have access to this book, which gives a personal experience of this author, that they, the, why doesn't a liberal parent, for instance, or a parent of an LGBTQ kid, why don't they have a right for their child to just have access to this book? Why is it your right to say they can't? So, again, we're talking about incest, rape, and pedophilia. And Boy, each parent, no, 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 no. Each parent has to decide what is appropriate for their child to read. So I want you to answer. I'm going to ask so you one more time. A, right. What is your right to tell a parent who wants their child, who might feel seen by this story, why oh don't they gosh. have the right? Why don't they have the right as a parent to say, my child can have access to this book? If a child feels seen by this story, that means that they have been uh, the victim of a predator. That means that they have 
either been raped by a family member. They, they, they've they experienced um And your proof of that is what? You just said that What's the your child feels seen by this story. They, so they, they, what, no, 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 what no, no, I'm no, no, saying, no. Joy, You're now making assumptions no, about it. Joy, no, no, But if Let a child give you has a, been raped, we should do a lot better than put a book on a library Now you're literally shelf. creating we a story behind give... a child that you don't know. Let me show you a form. This is a form that can be obtained. Okay, before we move on, I just want to speak to that point because it's a perfect point that Joanne Reed is saying that like you're just assuming that about this child or this family. But then also, I love the way Republican women pretend and Republicans in general pretend like it's saying with abortion rights, right? If anyone is like, is like, well, what about a 10 year old who gets raped and gets pregnant? And they're like, wait a minute, 10 year olds get raped. I'm like, I'm sorry. Whenever you descend from your cloud of privilege and like whenever you take the bucket off your head, yeah, kids get harmed and raped and assaulted. Sorry, it's really bad. But look at the stats. Look at the actual activists like Rain, which is an incredible organization that works to stop like this kind of abuse. But are you stopping that kind of abuse? No, you don't care. You just don't want to talk about it. It's happening. You just don't want to talk about it. But who is this bitch? <laughs> no point. Her like, name's who, Tiffany. Who, yeah, but who cares about this woman? And like the counter is, and this is, uh, you know, people don't like me for this. I believe in countering nonsense with nonsense. So there should be <laughs> another where we're like, oh, we want all the dildos in the rape again. We're, we're yeah. for non-liberty. You know what I mean? Like we, they get to reign supreme because nobody shuts them up. Everybody's listening to this woman. She has zero credentialing. She doesn't even know the author of the book. She has no reason to be speaking about this book other than the fact that she knows that anal rape is in there somehow, but doesn't know who the author But Girl, beat it by. <laughs> um, uh, definitely, there should be more dildos uh, in storytelling. I think that's that's uh, for she sure a fact. Have more dildos up her ass so that she can stop running around here trying to be a book Honestly. for and stuff like that. So you don't need the dildo. I mean, that truly is what Joy, but Joy came so prepared. She then asks her, look, there are opt out forms where your child can be prohibited from taking out a book from the library if they have, if the librarian has like a, hey, don't let my child check out these books. Mm -hmm. Why can't you just do that? And the woman is like, oh, well, that's a good start. It's like, no, bitch, because that's not what they care about. They actually just care about taking away the storytelling, the voices and the history mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of queer people, black people, mm -hmm. uh, anyone that they don't perceive as, uh, honestly, that they don't perceive as American is truly what it is. And that's why them Republicans keep getting caught with these little boys. See, the problem is when you don't talk about, the, you worry about somebody else, you not sweeping around your own back door. She need to find out where her son is. Where your son at? What he got going on? Well, and then the receipts were brought about Moms for Liberty because they they absolutely, not only did they tango with the Proud Boys and all that, of but like mem- Members of them are like, one of them was in a threesome, which is like, I don't care. Good for you if you were in a threesome. But like, you pretend to be completely morally correct and like no one's ever done infidelity. It's no, these are the horniest and most repressed people. Of course. And if they had had more books like this when they were young, they wouldn't feel the need to take all of that repression out on everybody else. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.